So I was thinking recently about how there's this guy on TikTok who I think he's like Vancouver area. He goes on TikTok and he makes these videos where he, you know, is just like looking at the camera. And he's like, do you want to go on an adventure? And then he goes, too bad, you're coming. And like, ha ha ha. So he takes us all like on an adventure in the outdoors and he's seeing some mountains and, you know, rivers and whatever. So it's like you're going on an adventure with him. And I was thinking about how like these videos, like I'm kind of like that guy, except I'm taking you on an adventure of a music listening, except not really because we don't listen to the music together. And I just tell you about the music and then you have to go check it out. Also, I'm not like a ruggedly handsome man, like showing you beautiful views of scenery. It's just me talking into a camera in an Airbnb. So anyway, I just wanted to tell you about a couple of things I've been listening to. What else do I do on here? So the American Wild Ensemble came out of this 2016 initiative called Music in the American Wild that was meant to help celebrate the centennial of the National Park Service. And they went about commissioning and performing new music that was in honor of this centennial, kind of inspired by national parks, the outdoors, wildlife. The ensemble has since commissioned, I think over like 30 pieces or something. They just came out with this album, Duos and Trios, that um, includes works by Aaron Travers, David Clay Mettens, David Liptak, and Margaret Brower. It's a, a, a wonderful and very colorful set of pieces. They're interesting, they're quirky, they're fun to listen to, while also very beautiful and really evocative of the kind of diversity of wildlife that you can find just in the world around us. And I've really enjoyed listening to these pieces. The ensemble is co-directed by two former classmates of mine, Emmalyn Johnson, who's a flutist, and Daniel Ketter, who's a cellist. So the album, Duos and Trios, is out on New Focus recordings, and you can find it on the New Focus Bandcamp. Also on other streaming services, but if you want to buy it from New Focus, go ahead and go to their Bandcamp, and I'll include it in the details below. Also, I highly recommend checking out their website because they're always adding new events where they're doing live performances and they're all really, really wonderful performers and great people. So the second project I want to tell you about is a new EP from Jonathan Hanau. Uh, Jonathan, if you don't know him, is a Chicago based pianist, composer, teacher improviser. One of the things that I love about Jonathan, aside from his just being like a fun, nice dude to be around, is that while he appreciates and has a lot of experience in playing like the weirder, thornier, like classical contemporary music, is he can also just sort of like jam out for a while and do this kind of like neoclassical, um, more consonant, ambient kind of music. And he's really great at it. Jonathan's new EP is called Reminiscence Volume 1, uh, suggesting there may be a volume 2, who knows. But the EP is out on Little Symphony Records, and you can buy the EP on their Bandcamp page. To check out some of the other projects that Jonathan is involved in, including his own project called Music, Stillness, and Solidarity, where he does live streams of his improvising either solo or with another friend in music, you can check out his website, which I will include in the details below. So that's pretty much all I got for you. Go ahead and buy that new music, support artists directly, as directly as you can. Even though you didn't ask for these, you're welcome.